just before this video starts I'm just gonna say I think I'm gonna put this vlog on my main channel because I quite like it Hello everybody, today I thought I'd start the vlog in my room. Today is Thursday and it is actually half past 11 right now. I have had a shower this morning, I've done a quick workout and I've just done my makeup now and I have also done some biology work looking at lipids. So I'm feeling good so far. Basically later on we're going to see a show by Steve Backshill. I don't know if anyone can remember him but he's like, he was like a kids TV presenter of like um, animals and kind of, it's really hard to explain. Um, well it's not, <laughs> but I find it. Um, like, ah, oh, like snakes and spiders and stuff. Like if you know him, just research him. Um, but anyway, so we're gonna see a show by him tonight and we're gonna head off like three o'clock in the afternoon, grab something to eat and then go. So that's really what's happening today. Thought I'd vlog it. This is my lunch. I've got an egg, avocado, mushroom and thingy majig spinach um, little thing, some crisps, some toast, hummus and pickle. Mum's got a meeting and greeting people bag. It's a fake Michael Kors. It's not fake. Genuine article. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm off to stay today, batch of night. I'm taking some work with me. I'm taking some work with me. And I need to edit a video in the car as well. It's a Q&A. I'm wearing this hoodie from Gap and this skirt and tights. Hard to show you with one hand. And then my new favourite lipstick. So somebody's scrapping. And my hair is tied up. Tommy's stuck. <laughs> no, I'm not. Ah, <laughs> the car's moving as well. He's getting water. There we go. Yay! Did you lock the outside door? So, we've just got here, haven't we, Tommy? But we have to walk to it, so yes. That's the water man. Oh, he's got some water. Yeah, he looks water. Like Everyone's complaining. We're, we're gonna go and find some food because the show starts at seven and yeah. We're in the slug and lettuce. I'm getting the salad because do you know what? We've got to be healthy. Um, in a tortilla bowl because I've been eating a cotton health recently. So you'll see it when it arrives. Can I have a cup of coffee, eh? Yeah. We're heading to the toilet. Me and Mum need the toilet just before we eat. George is gonna Yo yo This looks massive but it's not as big as you think. Need to go to the toilet. Well that's not Stop it, or I'll throw stuff at you. Stop it, I'll push you down. TK Maths. Me and Mum are buying some stocking up for Christmas. Just supposed to be nutcrackers. Yeah? No. Very Christmassy. Hello. We're in TK Maxx and I'd just like to tell you I don't like tofu. I had some tofu with my salad and I didn't like it. 
Um, oh, so I'm not going to fuss again. Um, the toilets were awesome if you saw them. Toilet rating 10 out of 10. Um, and we're just passing time until 7 until we get to see the show. <coughs> My bed. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Dad doesn't need a mask. Oh yes you are. No. No? No. Film what we've done. Filming people. Without what? Filming people. But you're filming yourself, aren't you? I'm not. What are you doing? Filming. We look like we've come to see Bruno Mars. <laughs> it's not in focus. You're the filming when you get to the Especially underfoot. Just as we're about to give up, my foot hits something hard. I didn't see the like my own um, part of the web that you see that is sticky and that will entrap insects. The other bits are structural and are not sticky at all. They're just like, like kind of normal silk. Very, very strong, but not sticky. And the spider makes sure that it doesn't walk on the sticky bits. That's a great question. I love that question. Uh, yes, Declan, what else do you have for us? Uh, I think it might be Rob. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Rob. Rob. We have time for one more after this. Okay. Uh, you and has a question. What's the weirdest animal you've ever seen in life? The weirdest animal? Um, I think you have to go a long way to get past the Duckville platypus. Uh, the, the first explorers that brought back platypus to the west from Australasia, people thought they were a fake. They thought that someone had taken a beaver and like stuck a duck's bill onto the front of it. And then when they found out that it was a mammal that lays eggs, and that it has an electroreceptive bill, and that the male has a venomous spur on its hind leg, People just would like that. There's no way that could be real. So yeah, I mean, it's got to be the classic, isn't it? Uh, yes, and last question from Declan. Last question is from Lily. Uh, well, you know you said that when female whales talk or chatter, do they do it in their sleep? Oh, that's a great <laughs> question. That is a fantastic question. Do you, do you know what? We did have the, um, the hydrophone in the water when those two whales were asleep, and it was silent. So maybe they don't. That's really interesting. I hadn't, I've never thought about that before. And you know what, I've got some, uh, some biologists who specialise in whales and whales and whale acoustics, and I'm gonna send them an email the second I get off stage, because I'm really interested in that. That's a great question. <laughs> um, I'd like to finish with just a few words, because I, I feel that we as human beings can be quite full of ourselves. You know, we have this idea that evolution's all been working towards us that we are the grand aim of evolution, the apex of creation, the very greatest creature that ever lived, and that we are somehow really special. And science kind of shows that that's not really true. You know, all of the animals that I've talked about here tonight are perfect, whether it's a gibbon going hand over hand through the forest canopy faster than a bird can fly, or whether it's a tapeworm inside the guts of a warhog down in the mud somewhere, every one of them is the result of millions of years of natural selection, and in its niche, in its environment, it is perfect and has every bit as much right to be here as we do. But while we are now the dominant species on the planet and the only one that has the power to wreck everything, we're also the only one that has the power to set things right. And to borrow a phrase from the great philosopher Spider-Man, <laughs> with great power comes great responsibility. I, uh, I don't even know. I for the blog. I really couldn't tell that.
we've just come out of the uh, show and we could have met him but it probably would have taken like an hour um, waiting in the queue yeah. so we didn't want to wait in the queue for that um, but yeah pretty good dad what do you think to the show I thought it was quite cool. It was yeah. very informative, wasn't it? He, he said stuff in a way that I can understand, which is always yeah. good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, it, and he showed some uh, quite uh, good clips. Basically, it was like filming like his own like well, things that he's filmed cool. and shown. So, what's your views? Me? Yeah. It's alright. It's alright? Yeah. Yeah. Good. No, basically, he like filmed, um, used clips that he'd filmed himself um, and used them and like talked about them. Me and Dad are going to say goodbye now. We're going to end bye the vlog now. here. Um, see you on another vlog. Bye. Say bye to you. Bye bye. Uh, out of where? Tommy's so tall you can't even see out him. Of out of what? Out of Yeah. Oh, by the way, what's the time? It's like. It's just about quarter past nine, isn't it? Quarter past nine. It's not that late. No. It's good.